Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Veronica Dominguez, independent sensory consultant from Toronto. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a, a small little haul with you guys, but also a first sniff session for all of the Christmas or holiday collection items that I ordered. But before we get into that, make sure you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're aware of all future videos. All right guys, so this haul is nothing like my last haul, I promise. The last haul was really, really, really big. Um, but this one is a little smaller, but that's okay because it's still a haul and I know everyone enjoys seeing hauls. So first off, we have a tabletop base. This is actually made for our mini warmers. I already unboxed it and I used it for the Skull uh, mini warmer that is currently available in the Harvest collection. Um, so I'll show you guys a different version over here. So this is made for the glass one. The one I got was for the ceramic. So we have glass mini warmers and we also have these ceramic warmers. Um, so this one is specifically for the glass, so you guys can already see. All you do literally is just screw it on. So it comes with the base and it also comes with a light bulb and then you just put it on. And this is perfect for anyone who maybe lives in a smaller apartment or something or you just have a small space in your home and you don't want a large warmer. Uh, this is just another option. Instead of putting this into the wall, you can always just put it onto this tabletop and then put it on your table and it still works as a beautiful, cute little mini warmer. But yeah, since I only had the tabletop base for the glass mini warmer, I had to get the ceramic one for the skull mini warmer oh my god oh my god i'm obsessed with this warmer it is currently still available in the harvest collection if you guys are interested it is a beautiful piece of art honestly it really is and then we got here a counter clean in vanilla mint i really really love the scent um i currently only have counter clean in the mandarin and mango nectar and i'm not trying to use any of that when it is fall and winter so i thought that getting the counter clean in vanilla mint would be really nice for the season i know we do have the apple and cinnamon counter clean but i'm currently using that one in the scentsy fresh which i'm obsessed with by the way it is so freaking good and i don't even like apple and cinnamon sticks in the wax i prefer it in the scentsy fresh so i'm like you know what let's just try something different for the counter clean i didn't want to use all of the same scent I also picked up a body wash in jeweled pomegranate. I keep hearing amazing things about this scent. Um, I'm currently using a non scentsy um, body wash right now because I go through these so quickly and I don't always have them on hand. So I'm definitely excited to try this scent. I do want to try the vanilla waves. I hope I love it in the body wash as much as I love it in the wax because that one is in my club. I also picked up a travel twist in Clean Breeze. I'm obsessed with these travel twists, guys. Right now, I am currently doing a travel twist test video. I'll be obviously filming that at the end of like November. Ooh, this one is strong. This one is, I can see this is gonna be a powerhouse. Um, but yeah, I got a few of my friends and family to actually test out all the different scents that are currently available in the Travel Twist because I wanna be able to give you guys an in-depth review on the Travel Twist and which scents perform really well. So I thought it would be more fun to get my family and friends to try them out instead of it just being me because it would take a really long time. I don't really have that many spaces or spots to put these travel twists into i mean i'm sure i can find it but um i just thought it would be more fun to get like someone else's opinion on them and i also picked up one scent circle in white amber and silk yes i only picked up one guys okay i told you this was a small one um in white amber and silk i'm really 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 loving this in the wax so i really hope i love this in the scent circle i also picked up a brand new shade for my diffuser i'm so excited for this one it is called trim the tree i'm going to show you guys how this one looks so when i saw this shade honestly i was so excited because i'm like this is going to be the perfect perfect shade for the diffuser during the holiday months honestly oh yeah i can already see how this is going to be beautiful okay so this is how she looks so it is made out of metal this is so stunning i absolutely love it i actually thought this was going to be a white christmas tree with some like hints of gold but it's actually baby blue i'll just put it up a little closer so you guys can see that but i think this is absolutely stunning i love the fact that we can switch out um the shades on our diffusers but i want to show you why i honestly Think this is such a beautiful shade so i actually just want to show you how it's going to look so here we have the diffuser and i just love the fact that you're able to just switch off the shades just like that like it's that simple so this is the shade that i absolutely love using in the fall season i'm obsessed with this just look how beautiful like 
all these little stones the sparkle that it gives i'm i'm just obsessed with it and i love the fact that you can just you can get different shades and make it go with your decor depending how you're feeling or um how you decorate your home or the season like whatever it is you can you can make your diffuser fit into your home which i love all right so here we have the diffuser we're just gonna put the shade on so this is going to probably still be hard to see even though i turned the lights off but the reason i really love this shade topper is because it cycles through all the colors you can see this is blue and then you have purple oh that one's really hard to see but you can see that it's just it's going through all of the colors and it just makes it look more authentic in terms of like it being like you know a christmas tree that has lights on so i'm really 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 loving this and i cannot wait to use this during the holiday season and then we have here the night divine warmer this is actually for my sister but i'm gonna show you guys how it looks because i'm getting myself one too anyways um but i've been wanting to get this one from last year but i told myself you know what be patient girl you'll get it you'll get it next year so this warmer i was actually gonna grab it last year and then it sold out out of nowhere and i was like oh shit but they returned they brought it back this year and they even brought a mini sized version of it so if you don't want this full size version um you can get the mini and you can always put the mini on a tabletop base for if you don't have enough space right so um there's a there, there's a will there's a way guys but anyways this is a ceramic warmer oh my god this is so beautiful look how stunning it is guys the attention to detail this is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to see how this looks in person lit on, okay? The pictures already do so much justice, like they actually do because you can see all the detail in this warmer when the light is on. Um, it is an element warmer, so it is an LED that is lighting this up. Um, I just, I'm obsessed with this and I, I can't wait for my sister to see it. She's going to freaking love it. All right, guys, so let's get started with our sniff session and our wax bars. So first off, we're going to start with our Holiday Oil 3-pack. We have here Frosted Fir Balsam, and Sensi says, Snow falls over fir balsam and rosewood dusted with peppermint. So I'm just expecting this to be a fresh, woodsy scent. Put that down. Yeah, it's what I thought it was. Actually, no, hold on. I'm getting the fur balsam, but I'm not getting absolutely any peppermints in this. I do get a bit of that rosewood. This is definitely a very woodsy, fresh scent, but I'm not getting any peppermint whatsoever. If you guys have smelled this, let me know if you smelled the peppermint, because I'm not getting any peppermint, and that's what I was most excited to smell was the peppermint. Next up, we have First Snowfall, and Sensi says, a blankety, a blankety, a blanket of frosty air settles over eucalyptus and cedarwood. Now open these. This one isn't bad. It is definitely very fresh, but I feel like I'm getting too much cedar wood in this one. So far, I'm not loving this holiday collection. I'm kind of sad. It's not bad though. I do prefer it more than the frosted fur balsam. Again, these are both like fresh scents, so it's like. Why couldn't they do something a little bit more citrusy? You, you see what I'm saying? They're, I feel like they need to like change things up a little bit and like give some love to other scent categories. I mean, I guess this one is more of like a frosty, fresh air type of scent where the other one is just a fresh Christmas tree type of scent. But um, they're still both fresh scents. Like change it up, Scentsy, come on. And last but not least, we have Sweets for Santa. Holiday baking fills the air with cinnamon, lemon, vanilla, and hints of caramel. That sounds like a mouthful. Ooh, I like this one. I like this one. This one's really good. Ah, that's so interesting. Okay, I get the lemon. That's so weird. I don't know why that's weird, but like, I haven't really smelled like a bakery scent in like oils that has lemon in it. And this is really nice. I really like this one. The lemon is actually quite strong in here, but you get that sweetness from like the vanilla and a little bit of caramel. They did the caramel properly in this one. Okay, so so far, this one's my favorite one, obviously. The other two are just kind of like, meh, like they're okay. So before we get into the sniff session for the waxes, I'm just gonna go through the ones I obviously know how they smell. So we have here two 
pumpkin cinnamon swirl. This one is so, oh, it is perfect. It is the perfect pumpkin scent for me. I'm really, really, really picky when it comes to pumpkin scents and I feel like the icing in here and the cinnamon and the pumpkin is just perfection. And I personally think this should have been in the bakery category and not, I think it's in the spicy category. I, I just, I think they put it in the wrong category. And then we have here dancing sugar plums. This is such a nice dark plum spicy scent. Oh, it is so good. This one's really, really, really nice. Then we have here a very snowy spruce. This one is for my sister. She loves this one. Every single year, she's always warming this one up. This one's a really, really nice Christmas tree scent. Then we have here first day of fall. This one is so beautiful. It's leaves, it's, it's pumpkin, it's nutmeg, it's cinnamon, it's everything that is fall. Like if you asked me for a scent to choose from for fall, I would tell you to choose first day of fall. And this is one that I, I honestly, I, I disregarded this one. I put this one on the back burner the first time I joined Scentsy because I was all Ooh, bakery, bakery, and I just didn't really give anything else a chance. And I love this one. It is so good. It is really strong. Then we have here winter berry apple tea. This is a really nice one for Christmas. This is just, this reminds me a lot of sweet plum pastry, but without the bakery note. This is just more fruitier for me. It's not like a super strong performer. I would say it's more of a medium performer, but this one's so good. I really, really love that one too. We have a new scent. Perfect day. Really, really loving this one as well. Oh, this one reminds me of Apple Teeny, but without that um, fruitiness to it, where this one, it's just more spicy. But if you like Apple Teeny from the uh, spring and summer, I think uh, catalog, you'll probably really, really like this one. Then we also have two Frosted Vanilla. This is another new set. This one has been really popular. A lot of my customers. Are loving this one it is so freaking good i think the birch bark in here is adding that woodsiness and it just makes it so different it's not this is not a vanilla that is bakery by the way this is literally just a fresh woodsy vanilla scent it is so so good and it is strong for me it's very very strong and lastly, we have two Bright Cider Life. This is another one that I really, really love. And I prefer this one over Cider Mill, in my opinion. It's just so good. Oh, I actually have this in the hand soap. Oh, I love this one so much. This one's so, so good. And it's a powerhouse as well for me. All right, let's get started with our sniff session. We only have four scents to get through. So first off, we have the scent of the month, which is warm pumpkin drizzle and sensi says warm cloves comfort cozy pumpkin with a drizzle of sweet maple syrup i hope the maple syrup is not too strong i find maple syrup and caramel are kind of like alike where if they're done too too harshly then they're just too cloyingly sweet and they ruin the scent for caramel i find that it's just too too sweet and then maple i find that it's too burnt i don't know there's just there's something about those two they just got to be done right sensi that's all Okay, this is actually not bad. And I don't really get too much of the clove. I get like a little bit of spiciness from the clove, but it's not overly done. And the maple syrup, this is done very well. I really like this one. It's really nice. I definitely get that kick of cinnamon though. I mean, uh, clove. I get that little kick of spice. It's really nice, very, very well done. I really, really like this one. Very, very good. And now we're gonna end it off with the holiday collection. So we have here cranberry orange cider and Sensi says tart orange cranberry and apple mold with cinnamon sticks served warm and wonderful. All right, we got some citrus going on in here and fruitiness. Ooh, this is really nice actually. I really like this. I don't really get too much of the cinnamon in here but I get more so the cranberry and apple and a little bit of the orange. This is really nice, I really like this. I don't think it's a favorite, but I'm excited to warm this one up. All right guys, I had to let you know, this scent is absolutely amazing. Yes, I've already warmed it up. It is my favorite from this collection. It's going straight in my club. Now this really reminds me of potpourri, but not that intense potpourri you guys remember from back in the day. So my mom and my aunts always had potpourri in their house, specifically more for like Christmas and holidays. 
So that's what it reminds me of. It always had that cinnamon to make it really strong. And then the cranberry and orange. Oh, you guys need, need to try this in out. Really, really pretty. Really like this. Okay, now I got the cinnamon. See? You smell it a little longer and then some of those notes hit you in the face. Then we have here maple vanilla glaze. And Sensi says, delight your senses with buttered caramel and dark maple drizzled over caramelized sugar. We got that caramel note. At oh, wait, hold on a second, guys. I didn't even take that in. We got caramel and maple mixed together. Oh, boy. This is going to be a party in my nose. Oh. Hmm. Maybe the two combined work. Okay, the bottom, I'm not loving the bottom. But I like the top much more. I like the mix of the caramel and the maple syrup. Surprisingly, it smells really, really nice. That's oh, but it also says dark maple, so maybe that's what's like making it dark and mischievous. This scent. I really, really like the mixture of these two. Like they just work well, and I think because it also says dark maple, maybe it's not really that super super sweet maple syrup and it's just a dark deep maple so it's not as sweet i don't know i don't know if there's really a difference between maple syrup and then dark maple like is there like you let me know because right now i'm actually really loving the mix of these two together it's really nice it does remind me a little bit of salted caramel toffee but not exactly um I don't know, I just, I really like this. This one's really, really nice. I'm really surprised I like this one. And last but not least, we have Swirling Snowflakes. And Sensi says, a flurry of sparkling peppermint dances in the fresh air with a hint of delicate eucalyptus flower. Whew, okay. Oh yeah, this is really nice. You definitely get that eucalyptus mixed in here with the peppermint. Ooh, that is strong at the bottom. Ooh, that is very strong. Okay, you definitely get the maple, I'm sorry, the maple. You get the peppermint at the bottom here. Where the top, you get more of the eucalyptus. Again, this reminds me of something from Lush. A lot of things remind me of Lush because Lush has so many different scents going on in their, in their store. This is really, really pretty. I'm excited to try this one for sure, but I'm, I'm going to warm this like in the winter holidays, you know? This is so beautiful. Oh my God, I love this one. Ah, it reminds me just a little bit of frosted vanilla, but frosted vanilla is a little bit more woodsy with the birch bark in there, but this one is really, really good. Oh my God, guys, guys. I have recorded three videos in one day. Are you proud of me or what? Three videos in one day. I know it's not like me, but you know, a girl had to do what a girl had to do because when I don't film, I don't film for a while, but then when I film, I'm like, I need to have enough content for you guys. And there you guys have my little mini haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It didn't really feel like a mini haul because I had to like do sniff sessions and then I had to unbox some things. But anyways, as always, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to all my social media platforms, which I will link down below. And if you're interested in shopping anything Sensi related, check out my website, veronicadominguez.sensi.c, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.